Hi, I'm Marianne Potter. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Off 90. We hope to inspire you with our stories today, whether it's through the music of Chatfield, the drawings of Jesse Bowman, or the words of Shakespeare. We bet you'll leave with a new appreciation for all the amazing stories found in our corner of the state. Every summer since 2004, the Great River Shakespeare Festival in Winona brings the words of the bard to life. It's theater that traces back 400 years, but it's as vital and as entertaining today as it ever was. The Tragedy of Othello, the Moor of Venice. What do I love about Shakespeare? We are on the eve of war. I love, no matter how many times I see a play, every time I see a Shakespearean play, I learn something. Excellent, good. Something that um, always gets me about Shakespeare is it's kind of like an opera. It's very musical in the way the words are written. And out of her own goodness, make the net that shall end mesh them. I think Shakespeare is absolutely, hands down, the most challenging playwright in the world. The poetry uh, is uh, just some of the most beautiful language and the, some of the most powerful and affecting language, I think, of any playwright I've ever worked with. There's something in Shakespeare that is more deeply connected to the human experience and the human spirit and the human soul than I think any playwright I know. I think the, the larger part of our message at the Great River Shakespeare Festival is that Shakespeare is for everybody. It, it feels sort of uh, as if there's a, a larger uh, purpose and something more meaningful when what is happening is not only that we're creating a Shakespeare piece, but that in the course of it, we're also um, discovering ourselves. We find some occasion to anger Cassio, I think, just more operative stress there. That's a new plot point. Right. When we started the theater company, we knew we wanted to be a festival, and uh, we knew that Shakespeare would be our namesake playwright. It, we wanted it to be something that would have broad community appeal. Lines 3, 14, 3, There were uh, three of us who had the notion that Minnesota didn't really have a good big summer Shakespeare festival, and one of the three original founding directors of the festival had some ideas about where uh, one, a, a summer festival might take root. None of those ideas was Winona, Minnesota, but city leaders in Winona got wind of our idea uh, through some mutual connections and friends and tracked us down, did a little research on us, and then issued an invitation to come to Winona and make Winona our home. There's probably a whole bunch of different answers for why Winona is the right place to have a Shakespeare festival, um, starting with the community itself. This is a place that is known for its recreational opportunities. I mean, people come to Winona uh, because of the river and the great, you know, camping and hiking and fishing and boating opportunities. And they haven't come uh, necessarily because of the great culture in the area. And I think we actually got a whole movement started. It wasn't until the summer of 2004 that we actually opened and produced our first season of plays. We're certainly a little bit larger now than we were when we first started. I think our first season of the company was about 70 or 75 people. We're up to about 100 people now. Do we need another? Our actors come from all across the country, uh, Minneapolis, uh, New York City, Los Angeles, Milwaukee, Chicago, and all places in between. So that your business and converse may be more free. I humbly thank you for it. I am abused and my relief must be to loathe her. To perform Shakespeare, it is easy to trust the play that you're doing. Unmake, do what she list, even as her appetite shall play the god with his weak Shakespeare has such a big imagination for what the human spirit is, and he's got such huge compassion for the human spirit that he portrays 
people of all different types and he portrays them with humanity. He says, this is who we are. This is what human beings are. Um, and it's what I truly love about exploring these plays. That's for Rita. I think the unique place that live entertainment has, live theater has, um, we live in a time where we, uh, we shift everything in time. We tend to record our television programs or watch them online. We have conversations via text message. We're not used to being in the same space at the same time with other people. And there aren't a lot of activities that demand that. In the live theater, you have to come in when the event starts and the lights go down. The tragedy of Othello. And everybody experiences at the same time. We're all going to laugh together, we're all going to cry together, we're all going to experience it at the same time. And when we go back out in the lobby, we've all been through the same experience and then we're going to talk about that. And those are rare experiences anymore. Yes, it's a good devil. Exactly. So, in addition to the two plays by Shakespeare, and now three plays altogether, one of which is not by Shakespeare, we also offer a fourth production, really, which is our intern apprentice company project, which is done in a different theater space from the one in which the professional company uh, performs. Lavinia, you are not displeased with this. The most important thing that I've learned here being a part of this program is, is what it means to do professional theater. As a young aspiring theater artist, it gives me a perfect example of what theater can be. And suffer not dishonored to approach the imperial seat. It showed me what I want to develop into and the kind of artist that I want to be. Great. <laughs> after spending a summer just immersed in Shakespeare. I'm more articulate and I use words better. Definitely, it starts to work its way into your <laughs> vocabulary a little I bit. I was sending a text in iambic pentameter the other day and, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was laughing. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha We also have a Shakespeare for Young Actors program that really uh, teaches kids in the community and from outside the community um, a lot about working on Shakespeare as an actor, about um, analyzing verse, and they get to work on a play by Shakespeare. Tell him I'll knock his leak about us paid upon St. Davies Day. Um, call me strange, but I love high school students. It's not their climate, foggy, raw, and dull. What do you, when you're saying that, what do you, what do you want to get? I think when you're from the ages of, you know, 14 to 18, um, it's a time when um, experiences can um, be very, very positive or very, very negative for you. And so um, I really wanted to be a part of uh, creating those experiences that were very positive. Um, and I hope that that's what we're doing. Not today. Oh, Lord. Oh, not today. Think not upon the... Oh, I love Shakespeare because the language is so beautiful and so classic, but it's still so relatable to modern day and it's amazing after all these years that people can still watch them and still find them so fascinating. I think doing Shakespeare is actually easier than other kinds of shows because uh, the language is all, well most of it is in rhythm, so it's just like saying poetry. And I don't know, I just find it more fun because you're speaking words that have been around for forever. The Dauphin longs for morning. He longs to eat the English. So one of the things that you get to see uh, in the latter part of the season at the Great River Shakespeare Festival is you get to see actors at all stage, stage of growth and development and at all ages grappling with this great playwright. I know that when the festival first started, there were some people who might have said that, mm, I don't know if we're known as a place for Shakespeare, but I don't think anyone doubts that this is a home. It's really taken root and the community has just embraced Great River Shakespeare Festival. I would say if you think that you don't know or like Shakespeare, you should come and be surprised.
Funding for Off 90 is provided in part by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.